The first hole at Shaker Heights Country Club lives up to Donald Ross's belief that an opening hole should be like a gentle handshake. Fairway bunkers on the right and left hand side make an accurate tee shot a must. The green slopes from back to front putting a premium on distance control. Two good shots should give you a nice look at a birdie. Hole number two, a long par four, requires both length and accuracy off of the tee. Players unable to reach the top tier of the fairway will face a blind second shot, which must avoid a well-positioned bunker short right of the green. The green has a false front and is protected by a bunker short left. One of the larger greens at Shaker, players can find themselves facing long putts with subtle break. The first of three par fives at Shaker, hole number three offers the first good chance at a birdie. Longer players can take advantage of the sloping fairway and find themselves with a good chance of reaching the green in two. The creek, about 110 yards short of the green, gives players a risk reward option on their layup shot. Players who elect to go over the creek on their second shot will face a mid-range pitch to this green sloped severely from back to front. Distance control on your approach shot is a must. The first par 3 at Shaker, hole number 4 requires a well-controlled iron shot to a green protected on three sides by bunkers. Players who miss the green will find themselves with a tough up and down. A well-placed shot off the tee should give you a nice look at a birdie. Hole number 5 gives players a risk-reward option off of the tee. Players must control the distance of their tee shots to avoid leaving themselves on a severe downslope. Longer players can elect to try to hit the bottom fairway segment and leave themselves with the wedge into the green. Players who stay in the top tier will face a mid to long iron in. The green is protected by two bunkers short left and right along with a false front. The green slopes from left to right and back to front. Leave yourself on the wrong quadrant and you may have an almost impossible two putt. Another long par four, hole number six requires an accurate tee shot which avoids two fairway bunkers. Most players will face a mid to long iron into this green. Hole number 6 provides one of the most difficult green complexes on the courts. The green is sloped severely from back to front and right to left. Putts require both precise speed and distance control. Hole number 7, the second of the par 5s, gives players a good chance at a birdie. Players who hit their tee shot to the bottom fairway level will have a chance to hit the green in two. Players must carry a creek 100 yards short of the green and avoid two fairway bunkers on their approach. The green has two tiers and is sloped from back to front. Players must position themselves below the hole on the correct tier to avoid having a tough two putt. The only hole at Shaker without a bunker makes up for that fact with length and a tough green. Most players will face a blind second shot into this green. Due to the lack of bunkers, players have a chance to hit shots which run up to the green. The green is bowl shaped with many subtle breaks. The second of the par threes, hole number nine is protected by bunkers short left and right. Moderate in length, most players will hit a mid iron into this green. Though relatively flat, the ninth green is one of the most difficult to get an accurate read on due to its many subtleties. Hole number 10 is a great short risk reward par four, which offers longer players a chance to hit the green in one. Players who attempt to hit the green off the tee must avoid a fairway bunker short left of the green. Players who lay up will face a wedge shot up the hill to a green slope severely from back to front. Staying below this hole is extremely important, so players must have precise distance control on their approach shots. Hole number 11, the third of the par threes, requires an accurate tee shot off the tee with a mid to short iron. The green is severely sloped from right to left with the creek left of the green to accept errant tee shots. 
Players face a blind tee shot on hole number 12 and must decide if they will hit to the top or bottom fairway level. Players who are on the top fairway level will face a mid-iron into the green and players who hit the bottom will have a wedge in. The green is protected by bunkers left and short right and has a false front. The green is sloped from front to back making distance control a premium on your approach shot. The 13th hole is a long par 4 requiring an accurate tee shot to the widest fairway on the course, which is also protected by a creek left and out of bounds right. Players will have a long iron or hybrid into a green sloped front to back and guarded by a creek left. No green side bunkers mean players have options as to fly or run the ball up to the green. The last par 5 at Shaker, and a 3 shotter for most, requires an accurate tee shot to a fairway protected by OB on the right and trees to the left. A fairway bunker 85 yards short of the green requires an accurate layup. The green is sloped from back to front and protected by a bunker right. A well placed approach shot should give you a nice chance at a birdie. Hole 15, the longest par 4 on the back 9, and most often thought of as the toughest par 4 at Shaker. Players must avoid the creek, which runs down the entire right side of the hole, before cutting across the fairway 80 yards short of the green. Players must carry the creek to hit the green with their second shot. A pair of bunkers protect this relatively gentle green. A short par 3 with a blind tee shot, hole 16 gives players who hit a good tee shot a nice chance at a birdie. The green is sloped from back to front and right to left. Players face an uphill tee shot and a downhill second shot on the par 4 17th hole. Players who find the fairway and avoid the fairway bunker left will have a short to mid iron approach into a green severely sloped front to back and right to left. Distance control is extremely important on the approach shot or the player will find themselves over the green. The closing hole at Shaker has a three-tiered fairway and an uphill second shot. Longer players will find themselves on the bottom level with a short iron into the green. Shorter players will face a shot from the second level or mezzanine that must carry the creek and reach the top of the hill to get to the green. The green is one of the largest on the course and protected by two bunkers. <laughs>